and um, thank you for everybody. And some of, I know some of the young athletes are pro probably a little bit sore and have a soreness from yesterday exercises from hammer aerobics, but um, I think it's good um, that we experienced uh, yesterday and we have a little talk today, so more clear to understand. And just wait for that to come on. Okay. Oh. And um, this morning, I like to talk about my philosophy and um, also what I did in my research and trying to give you some information. So I'm here to translate, just in case. Yeah. So if I don't use proper, you know, right, correct English, and you know, but I try my best. So. <laughs> Can I go? <laughs> okay. Okay. Zen of the art. Uh, Zen and the art of the hammer throwing. Okay. My personal information. My name is Koji Murafushi, and I born 8 October 9, 1974. Numazu is a, which is uh, very close to Mount Fuji, um, Japan, and my height is 187 centimeter. Uh, six. One, six, two, and have 100 kilos. And against distance and my body weight, uh, 2002, that was my best this, against distance and weight. I throw 80, 83 meter 33, and right after I went to the hotel and measured my, uh, I went to the scale and measured my weight was 94 kilos. And I, I, don't, I didn't know how did I throw 83 meter, but I did. And um, that was Doha. And personal best, 84, 86, it was uh, 2003. The Grand Prix meeting in Prague. Um, had a 97 kilograms at this moment. Personal best, 84, 86. Uh, my power clean best, nine, uh, 195 kilos. Narrow snatch. It's about shoulder wide, uh, 132.5. Snatch the hands together, 120 kilos. Bench press, I, I don't do it right now. I used to do a little bit when I was in university. Uh, 170 kilos. Full squat, 240 kilos. Standing long jump, 3 meter 60. And uh, five bounds, which is five bounds, is a two two leg, two leg, five step jump, uh, 1930, five step jump, uh, 1820, 60 meter, 6.43. This is uh, without reaction time, but uh, at the bobsleigh, I tested bobsleigh con uh, control test, uh, 1996. It's like one meter start through a beam, yeah. and then flying mm. 60 meters. Yes. I had like 90 kilos, a little bit lighter than now. And um, I had a first pitch at the baseball. Uh, they invited me at the professional baseball and had a first pitch 131 kilometer. And, you know. And my progression history from 1994, <laughs> well, I started. Uh, seriously, in 1990, and that was uh, 15. And um, this is a uh, progression from 1994 to last year, to 2007. My family, uh, many people knows my father because um, father competed with. Uh, you know, uh, Chris and Paul and other athletes. And um, I'm very happy to be here again to meet. Um, and um, my father's personal best, 75, 96. I have my sister, Yuka. She's a national record holder for hammer and discus. And 67, 77, she was in the Olympic game. Okay, important of uh, rivals. So this, I was uh, 10 years old in 1984. 
I was in Los Angeles with my father because he was uh, training one year before the Olympic game. And he, that guy was, I was wrestling was Adam Connolly, uh, 1956 Olympic champion's uh, son, uh, Adam. And we had a chance to practice and throw together. And I always ask, you know, when I, even when I go back to Japan, I ask father, hey, how much Adam is throwing right now? Ask, ask, you know. I was, you know, trying to, and, and he likes to know how many meter I, I was throwing. And Adam threw the hammer, but he went to basketball mostly, Stanford. And ended up throwing 73-40 mm. Stanford with uh, Robert Weir. Mm. Yeah, Robert Weir, yeah. So, and this, uh, some of the people knows about um, this. This is a film from IWF um, Hammer um, Clinics in lo in lo from uh, Harold Connolly. Is it okay? So, it's how? This is uh, Adam. I'm a little bit tired, you know, doing really like this. <laughs> Can't concentrate, this is a problem. You have to go quickly like that. It has to be a consecutive movement from the moment you start. It has to be. Okay, who can do that? All right, try to keep your head lined up with the end of the bat. Look at Very the end of the bat. Good, 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 much better. Much, much better. That was fine. <laughs> so, I think this is a great opportunity to get into this clinic because um, we should get these clinics um, to um, to teach children or young athletes, and we should have this more uh, possibility, give the possibility to people. And I'm very happy to go any place in the world if invited. One more. One more. Sure. Technology. Move on to the next page. Then. Okay. The challenge is good. Okay. This is a barrel tough. Um, um, this is a. Uh, after all the competitions finished, we um, says John, James Parker, Christian, Pars, Ivan, and a few athletes um, get together in Japanese TV program and. They, we, they um, do every, every year um, and they get together and having a little fun. Whiskey barrel? Whiskey barrel. <laughs> it's not whisking in, but it's 10 kilo barrel and how, how high you can toss. Very serious. <laughs> it's not like the Highland Bay where they use a pole bar or something. It's serious. Quite construction. This is John. Yeah. He, yeah, he, before the wedding, he had a wedding. Next, so right away, he went to airport and go he, his own wedding himself <laughs> to Hawaii. He just came for this. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, next. Okay, this current rival this year. Uh, we're like uh, almost like team. We got good competition in Osaka, and we all, all throw far. Uh, best competition probably in the history too. And because we did it, we feel it's like team. And we don't hide anything and give information to each other and get raised all the level of the ha hammer event. So uh, my philosophy, the hammer throw is international. Many friends around the world. It's not about how many meters you throw. And of course, I'm very happy to be here and get uh, make more friends. And my, this is my ultimate goal. Uh, this is Discobolus. And um, he's, he's about to throw right now. Of course, if people say this you know, balanced body is beautiful, but for me, um, I pay attention for my, more on face, uh, which is this is all, it's, it's right about to throw right now. And probably he wants, you know, more meters or result, but doesn't show in the face. He's so calm and very clear, and probably he got all the things in the mind, on the bottom, the stomach, whatever, but it doesn't show in the face. And this is the ultimate um, goal, and maybe probably when I retire, I don't know, but this is my um, goal. And I do some movements, and I have my teacher who taught me a lot of things about Japanese um, culture, philosophy, and, and um, so. When you're ready. Like, this is uh, Birmingham. I, just, I did it day before yesterday. Like, way to sit. Lay on the back, front. You did this every day when you were younger? You know? Yeah, or, or, uh, yeah, I did it like 20, early 20s years old. Almost every day. So all the energy will get into the bottom, in the gut. And it's ready to go outside and do stuff. But if you energy up, then all the movement are gonna be messed up. So uh, trying to concentrate uh, to get energy on the bottom. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, some Introduction in Japanese. Um, maybe later on. Maybe we can. Um, I can teach you a little bit later on on the afternoon session. Is that and is okay? So the reason is on this map. This space is very Japanese. <laughs> space is very important for Japanese. Yeah. So not a lot of it. Yeah. This I can talk maybe later on, but um, Japanese culture. Um, Everything is compact, right? Car, everything. Um, this is a um, philosophy like for tea serving, tea party. And they, they get into very small plate, small doors and get it in, and small um, room and do tea service and tea party. And, but they, it's a small, but they feel like the size of a space. So feeling in real is always different. Uh, for example, uh, we say, I heard from my teacher that if you see Japanese flag, it's white and there's a uh, red circle in the center of the flag. And if you keep watching still, then you'll get, your eyes get tired and start looking some green shape a little bit. Because you, your body always doesn't want to be, um, get used to, or make, if you get tired, trying to react something different. So um, reality and feelings is, can be different too. Okay, 
So um, I fought more focus on a PhD study uh, this year, and um, but biomechanics in Hammer, and a little bit less and less fo focus in the training than in 2006 or Olympic year, but 2008 I'm free and <coughs> training fully every day. So I hope I can get be ready. And I like to introduce a little bit what I'm doing in biomechanics and how I can apply to this throw. So this is a <laughs> national training center at the Tokyo. Uh, they built 2003 and um, it's pretty good facilities. Um, and this is a circle, and there's a net, and this is a, they have a force platform to see um, ground reaction force. And there's eight plates in a circle. And this is a sensor we made. And uh, you can measure tensity, tension of the wire, uh, acceleration. It's homemade. And all the signals we'll collect in the uh, data logger here. And after you put it in the computer and see the wave. And this is a wave. This is a wire tension. So blue lines A is 80 meter thrower, which is somebody here. And B is a 60 meter thrower. And C is 50 meter thrower. So the tension is different. Um, a is getting to can be around 320 kilos here, the release point. Okay. Next, vertical displacement. What is the relation between the vertical displacement of the hammerhead and thrower's center of gravity? Uh, center of mass of the, ha of the thrower uh, against the high and low point of the hammer. So this, this dark line is a uh, hammer trajectory. High point, low point, high point, low point. And this red bar is a double support. And the gray bar here is a single support face. And this line, um, center, center of gravity of thrower, so when the hammer gets into a high point, the center of gravity thrower goes low, lowest point. So always opposite, exactly opposite. So, yeah, and no Highland Games? Oh, yeah. So, so, Low point, and when, when it's coming to high point, you pretty much go under the hammer, the weight. Then when, the, when it's coming to the low point, you don't go down. You maintain your, your center of gravity. And high point, this is a high point of the hammer here, 179 degrees. And then after this uh, low point of the thrower comes, and then so, and then um, double support start here. So high point of the hammer comes, and then low point of the thrower, and then land the right foot. 251. And next 60 meter thrower, it's a little different. 
uh, it's not exactly the opposite line. So this is a high point of hammer. And low point of thrower comes. And a little bit late at the end, 276. And it's 50 meter thrower. You can see it's completely going together with it. So when it's low point coming, you go down. And when it's high point, you go together with it. It's go up and down like that. So this is a movement of the athlete C. And so the high point of the hammer is here. And then he lands before you're getting lowered. So actually, you should lower your body and then land. But he's landing first and then lowering his body. Next. So good thrower's movement against the good thrower's uh, move is against the hammer. Uh, dr drop the center of gravity at high point. Maintain center of gravity at gravity at low point. Foot footwork. Yeah. So also you're not just gonna don't want to drop it. Um, should I think you should more turn it? I said about um, Jude. Here, can you help me, Chris? Can, can you help me coming? Yeah. Yesterday I ex explained about a little bit about judo. So for judo, you want to throw the opponent. You want to get it into the the center of gravity under the opponent's hand center of gravity. So I'm not gonna throw, but and then and then <laughs> yeah. So you have to get get under it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, so this footwork to get into the hammer, I think, is uh, important, too. And uh, say not too much bending, but um, it's, I think it depends. You can bend it, too. It's, it depends on the type. But not just bending, use your legs to turn, too. And the poor throwers uh, move with a hammer. So you go together with it, as I explained. Uh, the vertical asynchrony patterns between the throwers and center of gravity and the hammer head are resulting from lowering body during the single support. Also from consciously keeping his body at certain height during double support phase. How is the relation between the vertical displacement of the uh, hammerhead and thrower's center of gravity again? Next, trajectory of the thrower's uh, center of gravity. So this athlete A, is, this is side view, you're looking for side. So whole throwing system going down from up. But athlete C is going down at the end. So um, I think most of the top athletes are, can handle the, the density of wire and um, every Eastern um, asynchrony, you know, go together with hammer and then accelerating the, the velocity, accelerating the hammer head. OK, next. Uh, winding and unwinding. Uh, we know that you know, the dragging, we say, you don't leave the hammer here and turn. This isn't good. Then, um, but we know we have to unwind. We, we're going to we wind two times or three times. And then we have to unwind the, the uh, hammer, and how do you unwind in the injury is a, uh, and sorry, uh, okay. 
So how to unwind is the translational movement is important. Uh, we had some drills yesterday. Um, walk, we walk, walk, and then, and then the force, you got a force to the front and then gets to the rear. Um, so we, I was trying to explain about this. Um, if you want to unwind, you got to move to the back, which is in direction of the uh, throwing direction. But if you stay in the same spot, you're just using a, just a twisting motion, or you can be dragged too sometimes. It's very risky. So I suggest use more translational movement. Um, but translational movement, even you're dragging, we use toe, heel, toe, heel, we're moving. So what, what I'm saying what is, this is a center of uh, rotation. Uh, the, the velocity of center of rotation. So athlete A has more speed on the center. We can consider, um, if people doesn't understand, we can consider center of, uh, center of rotation can be um, center of mass. It's very similar, a little different, we can consider. But um, this, the center of um, gravity or center of curvature are um, have more speed, negative and positive, which is so this way and also this way, this way and this way. So this movement is more has a speed on the athlete A. So next, the radius. Uh, is the main factor of, the, of an 80 meter thrower's length and the radius. Hammer rotational acceleration is uh, divided, uh, drive, oh, drive, drive from the translation movement of the center of rotation. So, um, sen, um, the radius is always changing. It's not just hammer to your center of gravity. Um, it's about 180, 180 centimeter, but it goes more than 180 centimeter, sometimes shorter. So it's always changing, radius is always changing. And this is because of the translational movement. So always center is moving, so can be short sometimes, can be long sometimes. So, um, so the hammer to center of gravity, your body center of gravity, like about 180 centimeter. But if you rotate same place, it's equal, it's 180. But you move to here, to here, the center of rotation will be out of your body here. Or sometimes you turn like this, it can be shorter too. So always it's changing. Okay. So this is a way of thinking. Um, um, but um, so it's not real circle, it's moving. And hmm? so can be some part have really curved, tight, can be sh um, smaller circle and bigger circle. It's always changing like this. Okay. 
So short, long, short, long is we think as a pendulum. We go like a swing, short, long, short, long, short, long. These movements. These are so center of rotation always changing. So it's not just spinning yourself. Use your, you're trying to move the center of the rotation here. One. So this is a way of thinking. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. So uh, the radius is not fixed. Uh, constantly moving, not always trying to lengthen the radius. So it's not, it's not about trying to lengthen long. Um, if you're comfortable, you can do that. But if you're in the right timing, if you're in the right timing, the hammer pulls you out. You're not pushing yourself. So you should find a timing. That's why I did the hammer aerobics yesterday. We can do a little bit about to get the timing, you know. I think the timing is most important for hammer. So understanding the patterns. And there's an individual uh, timing because we have um, different body weight, different body type, your height, and everything is different. So we have to find our own patterns. And also, we have to know many patterns, which is we shorten, we use a short wire or uh, heavy implements. It's all different timing. And we should know all the timing. And any time we, 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 we should know all the, ultimately we should know all the timing. And it comes back to seven kilos, I believe. So uh, it's not only about rotational speed, as, but speed towards center of the rotation, a speed towards to hammerhead, and maintain tension and wire. You have to maintain the tension always, to feel the tension, and balance between hammer and body. The hammer and body system. Wire is the key of the system. We, we throw more than shop, but like three, three times, nearly four times. So why we know? We know um, we have a wire. If there's no wire, we can't throw farther than shot, but is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then philosophy of training. 90 meter, um, is this possible? Sometimes we, we have to think about um, if human can throw 100 meter, what kind of type, what kind of throw he does, we can imagine. And uh, we can discuss. And I'm sure there has to be a way. And we have to believe. So um, how to get there? New training method. And uh, what was good in the past? Training. Learn from past. Create future. Um, challenge should be fun. Don't feel forced to do it. Always enjoy your training. Um, Stress on the body, and uh, I had a. I I didn't compete 2005 because of uh, had a lots of stress in back uh, for many years, um, training and for Olympic game, uh, many repetition, and but that was the same routine, and so. Every day going to the gym, going to throw, it's getting, getting to be patterns every time. So if you get used to it, can be get injury because you're not concentrated. You can, even if you're not concentrated, you can do it. Then can be causes uh, injury. So need for new concept is always feel fresh, uh, physically, mentally, excited about training. New challenge, uh, like Sean, he helped me for like, he sleep this morning five o'clock, <laughs> but he's, 
he's helping me. He thinks this is a challenge and trying to help me. So that's why he's, he can almost two, three hours sleeping every day, but he, he likes this. And so how do you can get challenged, you know? And not, this is the important things. Um, and no repetition, uh, not getting used to it. So feeling is a key. So improvise wherever possible. So we are missing something. Uh, we learn, we can learn from the past, we can learn from the science, perhaps the feeling is missing. So, and then I was trying to find the way, and that was, uh, we, we experiment the hammer aerobics. We always have a hammer swinging in different movement and you have to react that every time. And you have to concentrate to do that. And these are um, one of the concept, air training, we did it. Did we did it yesterday here, stuff? Air training, I w of course, wire. Um, we turn without the weights, just the wire, and trying to get the tension even with the wire or no weights. Um, splitting, splitting forces. Um, I can demonstrate this um, afternoon, second session. We use a fishing net. And unbelievably, this is a, I went to ocean in Japan and who was using the casting net, fishing net, was almost like final in the, when you release the hammer, it's the same movement. I was very impressed and then since then I tried to put in my, sometimes for relaxing and my um, training. So um, training without routine. You want it now? Okay. Um, so now I, we, I talk about um, training without the routine and never the same movement is important. So we can do some work to do right now. And maybe a few people want to come here and do it together with me using a newspaper. Do experiment. Maybe. No? Paul, no? Paul? <laughs> <laughs> You? Okay. okay. <laughs> and young people? Lady? Lady or? Yeah? Okay. What have we got? Okay. I live with a grandmother, and, but, you know, to top athlete, to, like my grandmother is, is good work exercises, so maybe you can. Okay. Chris can get wrestled before he does this. Get ready. <laughs> oh, okay, here. So, what I want to do, you here, stand here, here, is, do you ever use power grip for exercises? Yeah. So, this is a typical um, training, has a routine, right? Mm -hmm. If you do like 100 times, do you have a feelings? You, you're gonna probably, after three, 30 times, 40 times, you don't know what, what are you doing anymore. <laughs> And doing same, because you're doing same movement. So we want to keep the feelings inside the training. So easiest training and very cheap, I think. And so, okay. You can do with a two hand, but.
disappear in the following event. That's what you're going to do with your competitors, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Now straighten it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is, I think, maximum. Like this, OK? <laughs> OK, I'm going to try. Maybe you can do half for ladies. OK, pretty hard. So never the same movement. Two, you can try with two hands too. Well, it's okay. I pass the people. Oh. Yeah, okay. so, uh, how do you feel? It's hard. It's, hard. it's very hard. Uh, and you have to concentrate it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a few people want to try. <laughs> okay. Maybe you can do half. Maybe. Okay. Maybe pass to the people over there too. <laughs> How do you feel? It's good, no? It's pretty tough. Oh. Sore. I feel as though I've done. 30 minutes of weight. Yeah, is it? Uh, yeah. There, did you feel there was a feeling always? Oh, yeah. Finger, the, so, so the finger movement always different. Very good. Uh, Very good. You imagine doing it. Me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, next one, two poses. So, good. So, stand. Yeah. Mike, you can do like two. So this is a one of the example, and everyone can do it, um, from young to old. Um, and um, I gave a newspaper to my grandmother to do it too. Uh, she, she forget many things right now, so repeating. So what I'm saying, so use brain too. But if you have a same routine repetition, it's just moving your muscles and can be um, not using the feelings. Not using, but not easy to keep the feelings. So, uh, appreciation for British throwers. I trained with to uh, Stuart Toger, and friends Robert Weir, Sean here, and competitor, competitor with my father, uh, Chris and Paul, and hoping London 2012. Uh, and we, hopefully, 2016 will be Tokyo. Uh, so we're sending. How old are you? 2016? Pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm, I don't know. Uh, but she's got, well, over 40. Over 40. Yeah. 
maybe if I find a new concept again, more than Hammurabics, maybe. Uh, but um, so hoping London, many athletes here will attend and good, have a good result. But also uh, London, it should be Sochi's third gold medal. Yeah, so <laughs> okay. So I like to um, encourage British success and understand your role as an athlete and be inspirational for future. Thank you. So this is the first session. I'll be back.